Hi, welcome to this course on MongoDB for developers and I welcome you all wherever time zone you are located in for this course by IntelliPath on MongoDB. So with this let us look at this um, overview. We will be covering a lot many topics and we will be going into details of each one of these agenda items beginning from the types of databases the limitations of the existing RDBMS, what is big data and NoSQL? As you all know, there is a lot of confusion on what is big data and where exactly does this data begin from, whether it begins from a terabyte or a kilobyte, etc. Then we will explore a few NoSQL databases with uh, the comparison of MongoDB with other NoSQL types. There are many other NoSQL databases and what exactly is NoSQL also we will discuss. We will look at the benefits of MongoDB and the reason why you should be learning more about MongoDB. We will look at some equivalent concepts and go in depth into Mongo architecture and, fi and finally ending with real-time use cases. We will be looking at some use cases during and at the end of this particular course also. So I hope you are able to follow me now let's go further well what are the prerequisites that you require for going through this uh, MongoDB course a very very basic understanding of what exactly is a database I'm sure you must be working with a database uh, almost on a daily basis if you're working for um, a software company uh, Microsoft Excel is actually a database management system but remember it is not a relational database management system well let us see what is a database Database can be defined as organized collection of data. Although when you use this term database, you, entire, you refer to the entire database system. The system that handles the data, not only data, but transactions, or problems with transactions, or any other aspect of the data. And this whole configuration is termed as a database management system. Now, earlier designs and implementations were based on the use of linkages or sometimes called relations between data and with specific other form of data but these models were not standardized they required extensive training in order to make efficient use of that now what is a relational database system it uses the notion of databases separated into tables where each column represents a field and each row represents a record this notes will become more important for you uh, as you go through this course as a reference when you're attending for an interview or when you're making a career shift or when you're writing a certification exam in MongoDB so a relational database uses the notion of databases that are separated into I'll say databases separated into tables where each column represents a field and each row represents a record okay now a simple example is uh, an excel where you can see these are all uh, this is basically a table which consists of all these columns and then these rows this is a database management system a DBMS only another example of DBMS is Microsoft access but it is more than that it has got a primary key and also a foreign key okay so a relational database uses the notion of databases separated into tables now this is only one table like this you can have many many big tables you know, if I configure this as a table with employee ID then address uh, then gender then phone then email okay this is one table let us say a table one I can create another table and by saying here I would say uh, status or the employment status whether he's still um, on roles or permanent or contract and so on the employee first name and the employee last name 
and then you have the employee ID let's say you have an employee ID of 1 with an address XYZ for now gender female phone in this format and an email at the rate is a dot com okay this is a random email I just created now here you have as a permanent Frank and then Smith and then one the same employee Frank Smith who has got the employee ID of uh, one has this address gender phone and so on now what is the relation between this table one and table two now imagine this at a very very micro scale now in this Excel sheet if you expand your imagination for a multinational company where employees records for payroll for compensation for HR for sales for so and so for the performance review for the number of sales or the quantity or the price of those sales done uh, whether it is in the finance department or accounting department and you know there could be so many departments in big companies how do they maintain such records it's cumbersome it is complex how do they check from a different table whether this employee is staying in this address or in a different address how do they make a relationship between this employee ID and this employee ID so these are all the questions that we will look at um, in, in a, a larger way in relation databases and particularly in Mongo also let us go back here and see so relation database can be defined in this format now these tables can be related or not okay so here as you have seen in the earlier Excel sheet so tables can be related with each other with the use of something called foreign keys foreign keys are also called as common columns in that case the employee ID was the common column so the tables represent entities such as users customers suppliers and so on this will help you in understanding uh, the database particularly at the time of designing a database schema for real-world objects that need to be mapped to the database in addition to the relations between them okay as you can see here traditional databases have organized collections of data they have this notion of tables different tables and how they are connected they have the concept of primary and foreign keys and then there is a design schema what is a design schema if you look at this this particular thing is called a schema where you have three different tables one is the users table with user ID as a number username the password and the email you have another table called purchases the sale ID item ID a user ID sale date and quantity and then the items table where you have the item ID name price category and a description now an important design aspect of relational databases is the normalization of a schema now this particularly involves uh, three steps one is called the first normal form then the second normal form and then the third normal form but how do we arrive at these three different tables we do something called a normalization of a schema what is normalization normalization in plain English means making sense of the entire database so it is the process of organizing the columns and tables of a relational database to minimize the data redundancy so that we don't repeat uh, the data in many 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 tables and how do we normalize this particular um, structure of um, of let's say an invoice an invoice as you know has uh, usually an order ID it has item ID so in the same order ID or the form you can have item ID 1 2 3 4 and so on you could be purchasing computers accessories mobiles and so on now when you have such invoices in large quantities how do you represent those in the actual database in an RDBMS so these are the three key steps that are followed and the first one is the first normal form which means there should not be any repeating elements or groups of elements 
The second one is no partial dependencies on a concatenated key. We will look at what exactly it is. And third normal form is when no dependencies are there on key attributes.